Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Jurassic Park. The good folks at 25th Century Games sent me along a copy, though I think I got two copies because I also backed the Kickstarter. I don't recall exactly, uh, but I gave one to a friend. Um, <clears throat> without a doubt, from my perspective, this is their best game to date. This game is fantastic. I'm really impressed with the, uh, Jurassic Park. The gameplay is rock solid and fun. The artwork is fantastic. The components are cool. This is the first player token with the mosquito inside. Faked, but still. Um, and I totally dig it. It's, it's a simple area control game. There are a couple quibbles I have with it, but um, it works and plays well, and it's just super... I totally dig it. This is a great small package game. I really dig it. So, what are we doing? We are setting up this board, quibble number one. You get all of these hexes, you put them into two piles, you flip one pile uh, over and then shuffle them <laughs> like and I shuffling large thick hexes is not fun I think you're just as well do that and then just sort of like spread them out and push them together. There's um, There's not enough going over here where like shuffling is really required But it was just like an interesting rule where I was like are you kidding me? But anyway, we've got this layout some things we see some things we don't because of that step and then we all have our own little uh, or little or it depends on the character, but um, different characters to choose from, some nice diversity in the characters. Um, but uh, what you're going to be doing is, based on your color, I'm yellow here, I think. This is yellow? Yeah, yellow. Um, you have chisels, and they look like little chisels. Um, and you have dull chisels, and you have sharp chisels. You know, you basically each turn you get three sharp ch chisels. There's a little bit where you can leave one behind, or some mechanics where you bring more over, but basically dull chisels don't do anything, and you need sharp chisels. So, like, you just have a, you have a pool that you can pull from. Um, but you're, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking your chisels and actually chiseling between the, the segments. And what you're doing is trying to break off full segments of rock. Um, some of these tiles have stones on them. Based on the stones, you basically have to use a chisel. So, like, no stone, no stone on, a, on, a, on a, adjacent sides is one. A stone and no stone is two. Stone, stone is clear with two and then the third. Um, so different areas are harder to go through and it sort of drives you around, but essentially what you're going to do is you're going to try to take your color, let's assume I'm paying the right things to break off a segment here. And when you do, you then take half of that rounding up. So I could pick whatever I want. This is actually technically this is a wild, so I might pick that, but whatever, I'm going to pick two. The third, the third one's going to go to the, this guy, the field leader, and then you can, other people can buy it from him, you can buy it from him later, that kind of thing. What ends up happening, though, is, so that would be what would happen if I did it by myself, but as you were playing, uh, and even in two players it comes up, two players is a little on your own unless you're thwarting, but like, as you're, you're, you're breaking things off, other people might do it with you, in which case, um, majority gets first pick, but you're still having. So like, on, let's say there are 11 in a, in a segment, and three people did it, so like, to, to, to break through, the first person would get six, right? Yeah, six, because they get a half rounded up. Then the next person, would there would be five, they would get three, and there'd be two left over, and the last person would get one. So, like, it's not, you're, like, definitely having down as you go, but that's why, like, fighting over majority. So you're, like, making these pads and cutting them off, making them longer. Sometimes somebody will be going one way, and then somebody will make it longer off somewhere else. So lots of cool dynamics there. Um, as you're getting the tiles, you're creating dinosaurs in different formations. Um, uh, there was like a Stegosaurus uh, bonus pack thing that is in here now, but whatever, you know, whatever you want you're going to do, and you're building them out, they're worth victory points, the, uh, which is this guy called, the, um, uh, pterodactyl is just worth one automatically, but there's lots of different shapes you can go to, I don't know if that's reading, but basically you're building them out, collecting different, it's a little different set collections, Deciding if you want to trade one to the field leader, the field leader lets you buy is like more chisels, and you can swap things out with him. So you're like spending there, and every time you finish, you get some amber, and amber is used as currency. So it's just basically take guys, finish, earn some amber, work some things out. There's um, one thing in here which are like plants, fronds or something, and the more fronds you you have, it's like a big set you get. So like if you get ten of them, you get thirty five points at the end of the game. Everyone gets one of these reference cards. If you have that little expansion thing, you get one more. Uh, it works well. Um, that's really the game. It's simple. It's easy. There are these backpack cards which you can use. You deal out one to players. You deal out two. 
it's another quibble, like, you get to the rules and they're like, hey, they're backpack cards, use them, don't use them, use one, use two, whatever. Like, I'm not a huge fan of that kind of approach in a rulebook. I'd rather play it once without, then play with them. Or for a tougher game, do this. Like, but like just like, meh. It's like, if you want to, you can. It's like, well, do I want to? I don't know. But they're fun. They're just little action cards to do. They give people little special abilities to make it work. Um, wrapping your head around the scoring and some of the, like, it takes a little bit to explain, I think. Not a lot, just a little. Uh, but then it's, it's fun and fast and really dig it. The, the vibe, the look, the pieces, the components, the box. Nailed it. Really impressed. Really good job. So, Jurassic Parts. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.